Hey, what's up? It's Maverick on again. So as you can see right now from my pre-recorded footage, you can tell that I'm unlocking each island and each island requires a certain amount of coins and certain items to unlock it. So I think I unlocked as many as I could just randomly uh, to get there. And I think I, tra yeah, I travel to this one. So here we go. All right. Here is the second and only other island that I've visited so far. As you can see, uh, not a lot of difference. I think this island's probably like a lot bigger because it took me a little while to explore it earlier. Uh, I found a lot more supply or not supplies, resources, I guess you could say, on this island. Uh, what I've noticed is it looks like resources don't come back after you use them like uh, in some games again there's some glitches like up in the sky right above me around there is like a house that's floating i assume it's a glitch of some sort but again this is an early access game and a lot of the gameplay i'm doing is uh yeah right there there's a floating house i thought maybe something would be up there but eventually i just kind of uh shook it off and thought nothing of it because that was kind of weird i don't know why a house would be floating up there uh as you can see the enemies over here are a lot different than those little blue guys from the first island i appeared on they're a little bit stronger but again like i said i kind of over leveled in this one so and then i find this humongous village and i think i take a left here and then i go in that little bizarre looking place and I run into like a um, armor item merchant, something like that. Smith the merchant. There you go. Talk to him. He has some stuff for sale. None of it's very good or really worth it, in my opinion. I don't know how they price things. I think it is a little better than mine, but as of right now, I'm doing pretty well so far with my stuff, so I didn't buy anything from him. Uh, like I said, you got a bunch of people in here. And I think I go inside this house, but I didn't find anything. Uh, another cool thing I did find was I, in the first island, had to uh, make uh, the wheat crops myself. But here in this island somewhere, there they are, uh, I found a bunch of wheat crops with a well. The well is really cool, so I didn't have to sit there and smack a water bucket uh, against the water for 50 times because unlike hitting trees you can't just hold it down and it'll keep doing it you have to keep pressing the water button and the animation for that takes forever and that's just kind of annoying to be honest with you uh yeah so you just water the crops and such it's uh interesting and they don't take that long to grow so Harvesting weed isn't that hard to be honest with you. I'm sure much like crafting or smelting which you can do both in this game You take the ore that you mine and you smelt it in the ign ignit ignit. I don't I don't know how to say it So I'm not gonna try and embarrass myself by continuing to say it wrong uh, like I said That gives you ten buckets of water. It's pretty sweet takes a little while for that to come back, but whatever anyway on to the next M so open up your map as you can see it shows you what you've discovered as you've discovered it but whenever you do unlock the island it does give you an overview of the island which is pretty interesting I guess it gives you a kind of a rough idea uh, so I made one of these because I forgot that at the entrance one automatically appears but I guess you can just set them down anywhere on the island depending on how many you need Okay, so coming up here is where I told you in one of the previous videos where I kind of just mined a bunch of uh, silver ore from this like vein that just kept giving me silver ore and I ended up having to kill this lone wolf several times because the respawn rate in this game is absolutely ridiculous. I think it's like 30 seconds to maybe a minute. It's really fast. There's an island. There's a big floating island up there I'm kind of interested in actually now I don't think I checked that out the, the freaking wolf is gonna just charge in there and just throw itself at the at my character and there he is and I think I gained like two levels of just fighting this wolf because all I do is 
mine and attack this wolf because at the moment in time I was like oh my god like I've got to either destroy this big vein or I got to keep mining it because clearly it's just giving me infinite resources and that's pretty awesome uh, you don't have to press tab to fix your uh, pickaxe again you can just hold the hotkey and it'll repair it for you and then you can just press 3 again or whatever your hotkey for it is. Anyway, I hope you guys like this little installment of my Craftopia explanation, I guess. A explanation as to why I was enjoying it. I kind of, again, got lost in it for a couple hours. So I really hope uh, you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, if so, leave a like, comment, subscribe, everything like that. And I'm getting attacked by wolves. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.